Hello everyone, welcome back. Before we start this video, I have a few things that I need to address. Number one, I feel like this is something that every influencer that lives in Europe has been babbling about, but it's really hot. So I have a fan right there and I have my trusty pal right here. So if you hear hummings, wind noises, it's because I'm trying not to sweat my life away in front of the camera. Second thing, you will think, mm, what did this girl do this weekend? She played with mud, maybe she went to a pottery class. No, I just self-tanned in a really big rush. So you'll see, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but I have a line right here. Then my hand is also super stained. So yeah, bear with me, honest mistake. I am still new to this. There is a technique to it that I still have to learn. Just give me a little grace and we can move on. Well, I will be going on a holiday soon and as usual, I am trying to be very disciplined about how much money I spend before I go. This is something that I try to get good at. I never make it. For some reason, the money never stays on my account. But I do think that making a lot of hauls and a lot of shopping videos to me kind of unbalances my balance a little bit. So I thought I would do a second rendition of one of my videos that went really well that doesn't require me to buy anything but still has me talking about my favorite things in fashion and accessories and pretty items, brands that I have my eyes on but haven't tried yet. Because of my geolocation, most of the brands that I see ads for are European, but I made sure to select brands that ship globally. So all of these brands are shoppable no matter where you are in the world. I know a lot of you are in the US, in Latin America. So I really wanted to make sure that I would present to you labels that are not just pretty, but actually shoppable as well. This way, everybody can join in on the fun of window shopping or if you have the budget, actual shopping which is way more fun. So here are some new beautiful brands that I am dying to try out. I have been stalking this brand for a little while right now. It is called Gala Paris. And unlike many brands, this is a label that I would basically buy every piece from. Their brand proposition is for the modern woman with a vintage heart and that is so spot on. You will see that their silhouettes, their designs have that kind of vintage perfume to it but it's still wearable and contemporary in a way. If you like coquettish style, if you like things that are feminine, that are charming, that have a little bit of that European aesthetic that is very in right now, I think you will love this brand. So let's take a look at their product offering. I have my little computer right here so we can take a look together. You have accessories in raffia, you have these beautiful summer dresses, wedding collections. In the new in section you will see that they have their campaign called Summer in Sicily, which is basically their summer collection inspired by Palermo in Sicily and all of those very Italian bombshell aesthetics that we know and love. Think Sofia Loren, think Gina Lollobrigida, that type of sensual yet classy look that highlights a figure very well and I mean look at these pieces I want everything I love the dresses first of all so if you're looking for a pretty dress that it's going to be flattering and that will make a look so you don't need a lot of other pieces this is where I would shop and you will see that they don't offer product upon product upon product. So the quantity of styles is not infinite. Sometimes I feel very overwhelmed when I go on a brand's website and they have so much to offer that I can't even find what I really want. In this case, it's a small selection of very desirable pieces amazing cannot wait to try them out if you have let me know down in the comments below i've been seeing a lot of ads for this brand and i have also realized that many influencers have started doing partnerships with them the brand is called the fold london they are based of course in england and the brand was created because the owner the designer of the brand 
used to work in a male dominant environment so very serious very conservative and she felt like the offering of women's workwear in the market was very limited not very fashion focused just kind of boring so she created the fold to sort of provide working girls with a fabulous wardrobe even if they are in a more formal and serious work environment so you can expect pieces that are cut to precision i love how a well cut piece can make you look so much more powerful and so much more in control of the situation that is a great tip if you have to wear more serious clothes in your work environment these are core pieces that can be worn in so many different ways which is also very great if you have to dress for work because you will be able to play around and really get your money back in terms of investment if you're buying a piece that costs a little bit more it's always great to be able to wear it in a multitude of ways so if you're a lawyer if you are an accountant if you're a doctor this line is for you so right at their homepage, you can see what they're about they have these very precise very smart pieces that make you look extremely elegant are not boring especially because of the choices in color and the detailing in the cut i think make a huge difference this top is one that they have in a multitude of colors and it is such a great piece you will see that it is very modest in terms of shape so you're not showing too much skin you're not being too revealing but the choices that they make in terms of the draping the v-neck the sash around the waist will add that feminine figure will highlight your shape even though it is a little bit more of a serious piece this i think is an amazing piece for summertime i see many people when i am commuting to work that have to dress more conservatively and they suffer because they do not know how to find a piece that will keep you fresh while still looking appropriate for the office something like this is fantastic it's basically a camisole but the fact that the straps are not thin like spaghetti straps and you have the draping on your bust instead of just a deep v or some lacy detail that makes it look a little bit more lingerie like something like this really looks more like a top and less like a camisole if you put on maybe a blazer over this or even a wrap a poncho it already looks much more covered and much more formal than a basic cami top and it's also very breathable very fresh so if you take off that top layer and just stay with this when you're getting a bus or when you're getting on the subway you still look beautifully breezy and fresh i come across artnet a few months ago when i did a video i think it was a haul where I showed one of my many knit t-shirt tops that have a higher neckline and I couldn't find it anymore so I started looking around on the internet and I came across this beautiful brand and I have been eyeing them ever since basically we're talking about very high quality very well made Italian knitwear knitwear I think is one of those pieces that can look very wonky very fast if they're not high quality you can see a big difference in the look of a piece when you compare something that is very well made from a very good thread and something that maybe is acrylic or a blend or just poorly constructed so I do believe that this is a place that you should spend your money on the materials that they use are locally sourced the production is 100% Italian a lot of knowledge a lot of excellence goes into their products and you can see the final result is beautiful they have collections for men and for women so if you have someone special in your life that falls into one of those categories I think this is also a great present and you will see that their designs are kind of those core basics that you will wear for the rest of your lives so it's not just sweaters they actually make beautiful tops 
beautiful polos i really really want to get myself a knit polo i think i talked about this last year and didn't get it maybe this year i just think it's so chic you throw this with maybe a pair of white shorts some pretty flat sandals a beautiful head and you have the best summer look this is the top that i shared with one of you it is the organic cotton rib t-shirt and you can see that it is the exact shape that i love so you have a higher neckline you have a sleeve that is a little bit longer so it covers more of your arm not too tight to the body the texture of the knit gives it a little bit more substantiality so you are not seeing through the t-shirt it actually looks like something that is a little bit more high quality and well made they also have beautiful cashmere merino and a lot of cotton as well so it is season friendly if you will you will find a knit piece for the whole year basically i just discovered this portuguese jewelry brand it's actually what i'm wearing right now wait <sighs> i found out about them during my last trip to portugal a few weeks ago and it was my anniversary so my husband gifted these for me and i have been in love ever since it's the exact type of earring that i love they are statement enough to be visible but still classy and elegant the brand is called hlc they make pieces out of sterling silver and gold plated so you know you're getting a very high quality product their line is a bit of a mix they do have the more contemporary more trendy dainty stackable pieces that everybody knows and loves but they do have a few like this that are irresistible to me i think that i'll be the kind of client that will go back to their store every time i go to portugal and get myself a piece because it is so well made so golden i don't think you can see here how gorgeous it is but you see it just gleams it's beautiful i love it here you can see what I'm talking about when I say that they have a more versatile selection. You will find the more trendy pieces, like for instance, the Ray earrings are very in right now. The more dainty hoops with the crystals is very in. The ear cuffs is something that they offer. Then you start seeing some pieces that are a little bit more on my side of the aisle. This is simply phenomenal. I love how it has a more organic shell to it. So very different from anything that you might see. The dimension of the earring is simply fabulous. There's also my earrings as well. Really pretty, very complementary to a lot of looks and hairstyles that you might do. Extremely easy and neutral to wear. Then they have these ones that I think I might get when I go to Portugal again that are a shell, so they follow kind of the same aesthetic, but they're a little bit bigger. So even more impactful. I think it's so chic. And they also have a beautiful piece that I almost got when I was there, but I didn't pull the trigger. So maybe this too will come back home with me after my vacation, which is this snake necklace. Oh, isn't this gorgeous? I love that the design does symbolize a serpent but it's not too obvious it's not like a cartoon it is just the shape of it you can see the head and the scales this is also adjustable so you can wear it as a choker you can wear it a little bit more open you can see here in the picture they paired it with a more dainty chain so even though it can be a statement necklace it is also easy to style and pair with other pieces i love that she's wearing this under a blazer i think that is so pretty and here you can see the silver version worn twice so one is not enough we shall get to i could not make a video without mentioning a scarf brand le scarf is a gorgeous brand that i have been very interested in for quite some time now i think that it is the perfect brand if you are a beginner to the game of scarves so if you feel a little bit overwhelmed by prints that are more traditional to scarves like the hermes style like horse bits like those sceneries pretty florals if those look a little bit too daunting for you or if you find them hard to combine this brand makes 
the best print because they are very graphic, very modern and extremely neutral. So the scarf is not going to be another problem in your daily look activities. It's just going to be a added detail that is very easy to add on. They are a Swedish brand that uses just 100% natural material. So you know you're getting a very high quality product. They also offer scarves in a multitude of sizes, of dimensions, of shapes. So you really have a versatile offering of a very specific product. If you haven't watched my scarf video yet and you want some inspiration on how to wear your scarves, I will link it here, little shameless plug. But this is what I'm talking about. You see how the print is neutral? It is just stripes. But once you tie it, it gives that detail. It adds that flair that only a scarf can add. They make them in different colors, but always very minimalistic, always, again, very neutral, very easy to combine. This one is also very pretty because it has the border, so just adds that graphic element without being too much print. They have the narrow scarves that also known as twillies, so you can wrap them around the handle of your bag. Gorgeous, gorgeous brand, does not cost too much, which I love. Given that it is 100% silk, it's a scarf that will last forever. So you can buy it with no worries on your conscience. As you guys can tell, I have a thing for brands that specialize in one kind of product. Bellery, as the name suggests, is an expert in belly flats. I think belly flats are a total must in everybody's wardrobes, but just like knitwear, they can look very wrong if they're not made well. So you will often find that cheaper options of belly flats will look a little chunky, a little bulky, almost like kids' shoes in a way, and that is not the look we're going for. These are streamlined, they have the most perfect shape, they come in an array of finishes, of prints, of colors, beautifully made in Italy by Neapolitan artisans, so you know it's a product that is going to last, and they are just so chic. I just want them in every color. They have the ones with the more tapered point, which I think is very cute, but the round ones, you can see that it's not round, it's kind of an almond shape. If you look at a Chanel ballet flat, for instance, it has the same shape. It's a little bit more elongated. It doesn't look like you're wearing cotton balls as shoes. Does that make sense? You know, you get that volume over your toes that I really don't like. Ah! This is much more proportionate and much more elegant. And you have a bunch of variations as well. So this is so cute. It almost looks like a Mary Jane. So with a pair of black trousers, a beautiful sweater, maybe even something in a tartan wearing this. It's so Look at them. Don't you just love them? I, I need them so much. You also get some prints like the animal print, which is a neutral. We've been through this before. The little lemons that are very Italian. You also have some details like with the fringing, maybe with the strap around your ankle, the bows, beautiful, beautiful line. But then I also really, really love their meals. I am not a person that has a lot of meals in their closet. I have never found ones that I really liked. I don't know, I just felt like they look like house slippers. But when I saw these ones, it doesn't look like you're trying to slack on your style. It actually looks considerate, intentional, beautiful. So these are definitely, definitely on my wish list. This is it, everyone. These are the brands I have been swooning over. What do you guys think? Have you ever tried any of these brands? If you have, let me know down in the comments if they're worth the investment. What do you think about them? If you have any brands that nobody knows about but that you wish to share with the class, that would be much appreciated. Hope you liked the video and we'll see each other again next time. Bye.